we got a wicked toe. All right, what did he do? He dropped the big wheel, motor rooter. What is it? Uh, brake rotor. Brake rotor. Yeah. Brake rotor on his toe. Caused a big hematoma underneath the toe. He did this a week ago and it's still painful, still red. Uh, we do see a broken bone on his x-ray, so we want to make sure the nail bed is properly taken care of. Make sure there's nothing that we need to suture up. So that's why we got to remove the toenail, relieve a lot of that pressure, and uh, make sure that toenail doesn't get infected, okay? So let's get started. Ready? Not really. He is ready, but not really. Okay. So we always start off with the Alex block, or ring block, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Raise the wheel, which means we kind of inject it just a little bit. Make some fat, and we advance the needle going towards the bottom of the toe. You want to ride up there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> his his uh, voice got really high there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, you got it. You got this. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get that again. Okay. So we're essentially creating like a ring block, a nerve block all around the toe. That's how we're doing it better. Injecting it in different locations. So we're going to go top now. Okay. And then we pull back, and then we're going to go towards the bottom now. Sorry. A little freeze, just to take a little bit of edge off there. Make sure you breathe, okay? Did you eat breakfast yet? What did you have? Okay, that should be good for now. We'll add more if we need to. Okay, we're back. Nice and numb now. We were just talking about uh, our childhood dreams. If I had a choice between either winning the lottery or playing um, uh, doing uh, Head Legends of the Hidden Temple. I think I do Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop this big blister underneath the, the toe. All right, anytime there's a big fluid, uh, big uh, blood-filled blister underneath, it's called a hematoma. And how you can tell is that it literally surrounds the entire uh, uh, size of the nail. And when you're worried about that, or when you see that, you're worried about uh, a laceration underneath the toenail. So we're gonna do it. Ready? Let's do it up here. You doing all right up there? Yep, not working. <laughs> Don't worry. Good news, I can't tell what you're doing, so my other foot is involuntarily twisting up a little bit. Squirming? Oh yeah, big it, it knows what's happening, Just you just can't feel it. Your brain knows what's happening, you just can't feel it. Yeah. A lot better. So you can see that the nail bed is now clear now. That means most of the blood is gone from underneath. Let's remove the nail bed now. You did most of the work for me after you dropped that brake thing on there. Brake rotor. Yeah. So that's a big hematoma right there. Dry blood. We're gonna wipe it off and see what we got. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> could be worse. I could be saying like stuff like, oh crap. That's not good. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've never seen that before. 
Yeah, yeah so you can see where he lacerated it and completely nailed it here. So, um, the question is, do we sew it up at this point? Or we just let it heal? I think it's well approximated enough to where we can just let it heal. All right, so no need for sutures. Um, we're just gonna let nature take its course. We're gonna give you some instructions on how to heal it at home or take care of it at home so it can heal properly. So basically just, you feel all right? Yeah. Just a little bit of ointment on top of the toe okay. and a blended. Neosporin, bacitracin, empiricin. Keep it clean, keep it covered, all right? This should heal fine. We're gonna keep a close eye on it though. I'm gonna have you come back in two weeks. Technically, this is an open fracture. You do have a broken bone underneath the toe, yeah. uh, toenail bed. Um, so if this gets infected, it's gonna get down to the bone too, okay? Yeah. But, yeah. but I don't think any of any features. I think it's looking good, okay? Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a gentleman who dropped a big rotor. Brake rotor, right? Is that what it was? A huge brake rotor. I don't know if you guys ever seen one of those. I've only done it one time, changed my brakes myself. Thank God I haven't crashed my car since then. Um, but yeah, this is why you don't do it. If you watch our last video, don't do it yourself. This is what it looks like. It's looking actually really good. So it was really, really nasty last week up until we took off the nail. Even after we took off the nail, it looked really bad. And he had a huge laceration up there and we decided against not stitching it up because at that point it was already two weeks since he had seen somebody or two weeks since he had injured it and it already filled in a little bit so I decided against it and it's looking really really nice already nice and healed up here no infection you can see that peeled skin all around here all right shows that you know there's an inflammatory process that's finishing up all right and you start peeling like a snake all right, sorry, is that really sensitive? Yeah. All right, so I'm just cleaning it out, making sure there's nothing else that may keep a healthy nail from going back. You know, anytime you do traumatize your nail, all bets are off though. Could very well be that he might grow back a funky nail for the rest of his life, but when all things considered, after dropping something that